401k IRA nationalization quietly moves forward. The U.S. Treasury and Labor Departments will ask for public comment as soon as next week on ways to promote the conversion of 401k savings and individual retirement accounts into annuities or other steady payment streams according to the Assistant Labor Secretary Phyllis C. Boise and Deputy Assistant Treasury Secretary Mark Irie who are spearheading this effort. They want to get people to invest their 401ks and their IRAs into annuities or likely into U.S. T-bonds which are in the biggest overvalued bubble the world has ever seen right now. And they are doing this because they will have two trillion dollars in bonds to sell this year and foreign buying is drying up. China doesn't want them. Do you want them? So who's behind this? The White House and a powerful network of congressional activists and the highly influ influential Ford and Rockefeller foundations, they are engineering a new regulatory and tax incentive and the purpose is to herd and ultimately force Americans to convert their 401ks and IRAs into government directed retirement accounts. Government directed retirement accounts to save the government's ass. The 401k IRA deprivatization plan is the brainchild of Teresa Ghiradici who is funded, and this is funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. These extreme tactics used to ram nationalized health care down the country's throat are a blueprint for what could be the biggest asset grab in history. This is exactly what took place in Argentina, and Argentina was a, once a powerful nation, the third wealth, wealthiest nation until the 20th century. Another reason as to why our government needs to nationalize retirement accounts uh, is because this year the system will pay out more in benefits than it receives in payroll taxes. And this is important because it was not expected to, for this to happen until at least 2016, according to the Congressional Budget Office. So the trickle of red ink will soon become a flood under the pressure of 78 million retiring baby boomers. Less money going into the system. And that's interesting because the money system that we have currently is based on fake money. It's not real. It's interesting because if we're being told a particular figure amount, then I can assure you that figure is false within this current money system. It's far worse than they're telling us. Money is literally disappearing from the tax systems within this money system due to corruption. We are not being told exactly what is happening to the money in this world. There is deceit. All you have to do is look at the facts. There is no real money in this world. Everything is that is quietly, quietly being told to us is false. The system is crashing, and the only way it can continue is within the corruption that we willingly participate in. This has to stop. We have to stand up and face ourselves within self-forgiveness, in facing ourselves within self-honesty, and demand an equal money system for all from birth till death. Or we can just keep sitting around and watch our own fall. Research and find out what is happening within our world, within the money in this world. It can be stopped. You can assist in stopping it. Destiny is supporting an equal money system. This is their purpose. In standing and assisting in beginning an equal money system to support all to take self-responsibility. Do not sit around and wait till they pull you out of your house. Walk out of your house and stand up for all as one is equal and support an equal money system and quit, quit continuing to participate as the abuser. Abusing. The world's falling apart and needs support. Stand up.